SOLIDWORKS has always given you lots of flexibility when controlling the appearance of your models. However, in SOLIDWORKS 2011, all of the appearance settings for your designs have been consolidated into a brand new Display Manager tab, which you can access from right here in the Feature Manager tree. From the Display Manager, you can set the model's appearances, decals, scenes, cameras, lighting, and walkthroughs. All of the appearance functionality available in previous versions of SOLIDWORKS can be accessed here in the Display Manager, including features like decals, which were only available in PhotoWorks. You can use these buttons here to toggle between viewing the appearances, decals, or scenes and lighting in the model. Let's start by taking a look at adjusting appearances. You can add and edit appearances the same way you have in previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, either by using the task pane or by clicking directly on a face and using the appearances drop-down from the pop-up menu. As soon as a new appearance is added, you can see it's also added in the Display Manager. You can use the drop-down here to sort the appearances by the order they were added, using the History option, alphabetically, or by their appearance hierarchy. Now remember, appearances applied to a face override appearances applied to a feature. Feature appearances override surface and solid body appearances, and surface and solid body appearances override any appearance applied to the entire part. You can also edit appearances directly from within the Display Manager. Simply double-click the appearance in the tree, and its properties appear. You can use either the basic settings, which are the same as you had in previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, on the Advanced tab, you can adjust the illumination, surface finish, mapping, and the color and image. All of the settings here are fairly straightforward, and you're probably already familiar with them if you've used PhotoWorks in the past to create any renderings, but there are a couple of really cool new features here that I'd like to point out. You can use the Surface Finish tab to apply a textured finish to any appearance. And this is a really good way to give your models a manufactured look in a rendering. You can use one of the preset surface finishes from the drop-down, or you can browse for any image file you have on your computer. Once you have a surface finish loaded, you can switch to the Mapping tab to adjust the size, location, and orientation of the surface finish. There are a few different ways SOLIDWORKS can process the mapping. Feel free to experiment with the different options here until you get the results you're looking for. The Illumination tab lets you control how the lighting and reflections are displayed for the appearance. You can use the spin boxes to adjust the different values here, and the appearance will update in real time in the graphics area. The Color and Image tab is pretty much identical to the basic appearance options, but there's one feature here I'd like to point out. If you've made a lot of changes to a particular appearance, perhaps you've loaded a custom surface finish and spent some time adjusting the mapping settings, you can save a custom appearance by using this Save Appearance button here. You can save custom appearances in every version of SOLIDWORKS now, even standard. Just browse to a location where you'd like to save the appearance, give it a name, and click Save.